All right, welcome back everyone. Okay, let's take another look at some other things that we can do within the body here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go and put this down a couple. And I'm gonna go ahead and push the spacebar 10 times. And do the same thing up here. Okay. Now, we're going to talk about something called headers in this tutorial. So, what is a header? Well, let's just go ahead and let's type out the code first, and then we'll talk about it later. So, we're going to type in h1, close the bracket, and what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing and just type in h1. Pretty simple. Okay. And we're going to call this header1. All right. Now, let's take a look at the output here. So you can see that the header is of a different size than the paragraph. Well, that actually makes quite a bit of sense because these are in two different tags, right? Remember, everything that you put within these tags means something different. So if you had something, for example, a tag like banana, well, banana would do something different than paragraph or apple or orange or bicycle, whatever. Any one of these tags will do something different, okay? So now that we have a header, I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this, and I'm going to copy the spaces as well, okay? And I'm going to go ahead, push enter, and I'm going to paste it, okay? And I'm going to do this six times, okay? So now that we have six headers. Now, I just bear with me for a second. I'm going to change this to two, three, four, five, and I'm just using the arrow keys, and six. It's pretty simple. And again... I'm going to change this to 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Again, I'm going to go over here, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. All right, now that's pretty simple, isn't it? Now, what we, would, what we have done here is we've added in, added in all the kind of headers that we have made or that basically HTML has to offer. So as you can see, if I scroll down here, we have header 1, header 2, header 3, and header 4, header 5, and header 6. And they're all different, aren't they? And you'll notice that even header 6 is smaller than the paragraph. And so basically, what this is, is that you can add in different kinds of headers, right? And you can add different kinds of sizes, and basically, for your website. Now, again, why is this important? You know, why don't we just put, you know, let's say we change the font in one and then change the font in another well basically what ends up happening later is that anything with the h1 tag we can go ahead and add in some more code that says all these h1 tags 